Hey guys, 80s Horror Fan 88 back here again. Um, first of all, I just want to say I've been away for a while, what with uh, work and <laughs> general life. Um, been absolutely manic. Um, also, we got a new kitten to add to our zoo of animals <laughs> that's uh, an acrobat. So, yeah, every spare minute's taken up with uh, either work or that or going out with the missus or something. So, uh, basically, going to get back on it, going to try and make these updates more regular. It's been far too long. Um, basically, we went to F London Film and Comic Con yesterday, Saturday. Um, absolutely amazing. Showmasters did a great job. Uh, great job in every way this year. I couldn't fault them, actually, at all. Um, had some awesome guests there, horror, non-horror as well, some just general TV legends. Um, and uh, yeah, had, had we left early, but what we're living in Devon, got to London a couple hours early, so I had a chat with some, some people in the queue, and, and they were great. And yeah, just generally had a really good time. Um, there's a lot of updates I want to do. There's been a lot of changes to how I collect and the channel and stuff that I, I'm going to explain. This is literally going to be just a... A sort of what I had done at London, oh, sorry, but uh, London Film and Comic Con, um, showing you a bit of that, and then uh, I shall quickly explain what's what's for the future. But to start, we had uh, I met Toby Hooper, who was obviously one of my main guests. I went to see horror related. Um, I managed to pick up this Life Force UK quad movie poster, and obviously had him sign it there, as you can see in silver sharpie. Um, what a nice guy Toby Hooper was. Not even joking. He, for his age, he, you know what I mean, he was, he come out early, earlier than all the others. Um, sort of had a, had a chat and, uh, with me, when you get there, he sort of spent some time with you. He, he sort of would have a chat about stuff. He wasn't, like some of the guests you met that day were a bit, sort of, you could tell it was hot. I don't think they put the air con on or if they did, it didn't fucking, didn't show. It was boiling and... The guests were doing their best. Anyway, Toby was, like I said, great. He signed up this. Um, I'm going to pause it and just show you the different bits that I've had signed. So there'll be a few pauses in this video. But the next thing he signed was this uh, mask from one of my favourite horror films he's done, which was Funhouse. And I had him sign here on the neck, which looks awesome. Um, and yeah, yeah, he said he hadn't seen this mask before from Trick or Treat. But uh, I don't know if he was just saying that or what, but... Yeah, he was quite impressed with that, so he signed that. And also, I had him sign a leather face figure, um, as you can see there. The one six scale deluxe figure. Um, he signed that one up. I had to get something Texas Chainsaw Massacre sign. Um, and also, this was signed by Chris Dram, who... This is my Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask that he signed there on the neck. Looks really cool. And also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Papa Shango and Randy Mole. Great guys. Met them up there in the queue. I thought I recognised them in front of me, <laughs> and uh, had a chat. What what a lovely couple of guys they are. Um, <laughs> great chemistry on and off camera. Just funny guys. And yeah, just give a shout out to them. Saw them getting some stuff signed up. Um, so I'm just going to pause it again and move on to the next thing I had signed. Hold on. Here's the next thing. Was my original Friday Thirteenth movie quad. And I had that signed up by Robbie Morgan, who played Annie, and um, her name's uh, I forgot her name, uh, Adrienne King, Adriana King, who was lovely. I'm not even joking. What a lovely lady. As far as, they, she, you know, she photos for free. Well, they, a few guests did, but she was talking. She talked a bit about the poster. Yeah, just generally a really funny lady, and I was so happy to get that signed up. I'm going to be taking it to the... Horrorcon in Liverpool and getting it signed up by um, um, Ari Lehman, who was also in the first film, so that'll go on here somewhere, um, which will look mental. So yeah, that was the last of the, the posters I had signed. Then I had signed, sorry about the lighting, but I had signed the WWE Money in the Bank uh, briefcase, and I had that signed up here by Edge, here by Christian and William Regal. And I can honestly say those three wrestlers, lovely guys, got free photos with them all. William Regal was hilarious. Um, had a chat about how wrestling's going and, and they kind of agreed with me <laughs> how, how, how I felt. Um, and yeah, it was they, they were great. That was the first three guests I saw. Um, absolutely awesome. I'm just trying to think what else I had signed, if anything. Um, what else did I have signed? Oh, hold on two seconds. 
Then I had the official Harry Potter Marauders map, which is like five foot long. I had this signed up by the Phelps twins, um, for, who played uh, Fred and George. They were Fred and George in Harry Potter films. So I want to get that frame this week. Um, so yeah, I had that signed up. I'm just trying to think if there was anything else. I don't think there was. I think that's the, all the people I met. Um, just racking my brains. Pretty sure. Um, I'm going to be doing another update this week with Funko Pops because I've got a hell of a collection of them <laughs> Them going at the minute. Um, also picked up some awesome box sets. Um, I will actually show one off now because it's so cool. I love it. I shall um, go grab it and I shall show you that. Before I forget, I had Tom Morga sign up the hockey mask as well. Up there. And he played Jason in the... Whatever V is. I forgot which film it was now. The one where it was Roy, I think. Um, and he was a nice guy. Got a picture with him. He done. He was a sort of stunt man as well, like Chris Duran. And he signed that up. Um, I shall pause it again now and show you this box set. Just had to show this off. I know the lighting's crap. I will do a better video on it. But the size of this thing. This is the Matrix collection. I mean, to get an idea of the size of this compared to my hand, this is one of the biggest box sets I have ever seen. Um, absolutely mental. Comes with a statue of Neo. Um, I just couldn't believe it. The price it was at, I was amazed. Like I said, this will get displayed somewhere. It's huge. It's, it's like a foot long by nearly a foot wide. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, I was well impressed to pick that up. I got a load of box sets to show. I got the Blu-ray Screen Factory Halloween box set recently and oh, just loads. Like I said, there'll be more updates coming to the channel. Uh, keep posted, guys. I promise they'll be more regular. Um, and, yeah, I'll catch you next time.